Zika, your single source since 1950 for quality, selection, reliability, and fast delivery. We want to congratulate you for buying the MiG-500 machine designed for professional wire and electrode welding. Thank you for choosing Zika. Before we start, take a few minutes to read and understand the operating and safety instructions of the device. Please wear your safety and protective equipment before starting to work. The kit contains the MiG-500 machine, a set of cables and handle for MiG welding, a set of cables and handle for electrode welding, an earth clamp and one and a half meter cable, a CO2 regulator. Let's get to know the machine. The MiG-500 is composed of two parts, a power supply and feeder. On the top of the power supply, there are two indicator lamps, one green and one yellow indicator lamp. The yellow one turns on in case of overheating. The green one turns on when the machine is switched on. There are three controls for electrode welding, voltage control, arc control, and a current adjustment and wire speed control. The following switches are found below the three controls. Wire diameter selection switch. You can choose between 1, 1.2, or 1.6 millimeter. A switch for selecting normal or filled wire. A gas switch for gas testing of the system. And the T2 off or T4 on switch. T2 mode is used for wire welding in normal state that is activated by pressing the micro switch. The operation is stopped when the micro switch is released. T4 mode is used for welding a long seam with no need to continuously press the micro switch on the handle. MIG MMA switch. MIG for CO2 wire welding. MMA for electrode welding. The following devices are found above the switches and controls. Voltmeter and ammeter. Three connectors are found at the bottom of the machine. A positive connector, negative connector, connector for a command cable. There are two switches on the feeder panel, a current adjustment switch for wire welding and another switch at the bottom to set the voltage for wire welding. In addition, there is a switch designed to quickly take out the wire, especially in the initial stage of coil installation. Please note, this switch can be used to save on gas during the initial installation of the coil. The feeder is composed of a coil housing and wire feed unit. Connect the cables coming out from the feeder to the power supply. Connect the cable coming out from the feeder to the positive connector and tighten with a suitable wrench. Connect the earth connection handle cable to the negative connector and tighten with a suitable wrench. Now connect the CO2 regulator to the gas cylinder. Connect the gas hose coming out from the feeder to the gas regulator and secure with a suitable band. The desired airflow rate is 15 to 25 liters per minute. Make sure to set it while pressing the micro switch on the handle. For stainless steel welding, make sure to use mixed gas. Insert the power plug into a suitable power outlet. Select the desired wire diameter. Open the coil cover and unscrew the coil clamp. Place the coil so that the wire will go straight from the coil to the feed wheels. Screw back the coil clamp. Please note, installing the coil upside down will make it difficult for the wire to come out from the coil. Now open the feeder cover. You can now see the motor and four drive wheels. Between the two top feed wheels and the two bottom feed wheels, there is a pressure adjustment lever. Release the pressure until you can lift the two top wheels. Please note, the two bottom wheels have two different diameters, one for each side. The selected diameter is inserted inward. In order to ensure smooth passage of the wire, check that the wire end is not damaged, and if so, cut the end. Now insert the wire through the guide into the feeder until it reaches the handle outlet. 
hold the top wheels facing down. Lock the lever and tighten well. Connect the welding handle correctly. You have to remove the nozzle and contact tip to allow the wire coming out from the machine through the handle to pass freely at the exit. Switch on the machine by setting the switch at the front of the power supply to on. Select the desired wire type, normal or filled, and set the switch to MIG mode. Use the switch to quickly take the wire out until it is off the handle. Install the contact tip back on the handle and then the nozzle. Now you are ready to weld. The operating instructions contain recommended welding data to ensure you get the best welding performance from your machine. Please note, each electrode has recommendations on the packaging labels for the connection of the welding handle to the positive or negative connector, as can be seen for example for the Zika 316 electrode, where the welding handle is connected to the positive connector and the earth connection handle is connected to the negative connector. And in the case of Zika 18, the welding handle is connected to the negative connector and the earth connection handle is connected to the positive connector. Make sure to select the correct connection. Select arc mode on the power supply. Now you are ready to weld. The operating instructions contain recommended welding data to ensure you get the best welding performance from your machine. Make sure to follow these steps in order to enjoy high quality and professional MIG welding. For more information and to see the rest of our products, please visit zika-welding.com.